previously. Here he goes. Whoa! Hey! Who's there? Someone with a gun. Firing at me. I thought Peter said he had permission to be here. I heard the shot. I heard the bullet go right past me. doing now? I told him to. Don't worry Mr. Grumpet, I did say that he could go and get a tree. Right, well, he's gone. The old Grumpet. I really do worry about him. That was interesting and very scary at the same time. I wasn't expecting that, Dagwin. I asked for a tree. Not a man with a shotgun to turn up. He's unbelievable. I didn't even know that he looked after that forest as well. Oh yeah, he looks after all the forest around here, although he doesn't usually walk around with his shotgun. What did you do to make him be like that? To tell you the truth, all I did was just drive into the forest, start the chainsaw up, and I attempted to cut down the tree which I had chosen for you. Strange. He always has been strange though. Anyway, he knows that you're going back there, so please, could you uh, re-attempt to cut down a tree for me? And actually, I've decided to go for a bigger tree. Can you get one for outside? I can. Actually, I know of a good tree anyway, so I think... Um, there, there, was a, there was a bigger tree behind the, the very small sapling trees. I think probably because it is going to be a bigger tree, it's going to be better to try and put it onto a trailer instead of trying to ram it into the back of the pickup truck. That's just not going to work. Uh, so I did, in my desperate attempt to get away, put the pickup just around the corner here. So we will return. And now he knows the situation. I shouldn't be chased off with a shotgun. But this is uh, quite a nice relaxed job, at least it should be, uh, putting up the Christmas tree. I think it's going to look quite good, especially as it is going to be quite big. I just hope that Peter's got some fairly decent lights for it. So, yes, the, the trailer is just around the corner here. We'll get that attached. And hopefully we've got some good straps with us as well. That's that done. Right. I don't think we need a tractor for this, I think the pickup will be just fine. So, here we go. Gotta make quite a tight turn here. Ooh. Oh, it's still really slippery actually. Goodness me. That is very slippery. You don't really feel it too much in the tractor, although I have slipped in the tractor. This should be fine though, because this has been gritted. We've put salt down on here. I'm not too sure how this piece here got missed. Bit of a bump, solid ice, uh, but yeah, overall the road is uh, it's pretty much clear. I've never really liked this uh, grumpy chap. I think his first name's Ian. Um, he's been very peculiar ever since the start. Ever since I first met him, I don't know if he's just misunderstood or what, but he certainly comes across as a bit strange. Well, chasing somebody out of the woods with a shotgun—I don't have a clue who he thought I was, but. Clearly not somebody getting a Christmas tree. That's for sure. Okay, so this is the tree which I thought would be quite good. Hopefully it's not too big for the yard. See, this this would just look a bit pathetic in the middle of the yard. This is sort of... It's sort of well, it's a bit too big, but I'm hoping uh, it'll be fine. We can always trim a bit off the trunk. So I'll cut it... Cut it about here. It doesn't need to be... doesn't need to be at the bottom. Right, okay, so that is the tree. Now luckily, these uh, Christmas trees, they're not too heavy even when they're quite big, so I will be able to manually pull that, hopefully, onto the trailer. I don't have a winch or anything, so I'm going to have to. So, here goes. Get it pulled across. Uh, I don't want to damage it too much. Right. Okay, I should hopefully be able to just get alongside it. It is quite heavy. I'm going to just throw it onto the back. Drag it up. 
and finally strap it. Now obviously if we were going to a garden centre for a smaller one it would all be wrapped up but I don't think they ever wrap these bigger trees up because I think it would do a bit too much damage. Plus you'd have to have a gigantic wrapper. So um, yes that is all on there. Very nice. Let's head back to the yard. Right. Oh, oh no. Oh no it's Crumpet. What does he want? I'd better not just drive off. See what he actually does want. So, you like trees? Yep. Trees are good. Oh, they are, are they? Uh, what do you want me to say? Can I please head back to Peter's yard? Wow. <laughs> of course. Okay. Well, that was that was one of the best conversations I've ever had. It seems to be that's where he lives up there or something. Because that's where the shot came from as well. Strange. Anyway, we have more important things to do. We must go and get this tree put up in the yard. And, uh, well, obviously it couldn't be put up that early because it's not going to be in, in water or anything, I don't think. I think he tends to just stand it upright. And if it's put up too early, then it's going to lose all of its needles. But I think they do tend to get about a month. You get, you get about a month out of them before they do start to really lose them. I can see it in the mirror, the, the tree. It's looking good. Uh, I just hope that Peter is impressed, and hopefully it is the right size as well. If it's just a bit too big, then, like I say, we can trim it. If it's too small, then I don't think it's going to be an issue, but we could just get another tree. But yeah, I don't want to do that. Two reasons. One, because it's it's a tree and we've cut it down now. It's a good thing. A tree is good. And he doesn't need a bigger tree. It would seem out of place. So I'm thinking about things which are never going to happen. Right. Okay. Oh yeah, this is really slippery. I forget. <laughs> very, very slippery here. I should probably clear, clear the yard again, actually. And I should clear the yard over at the cow farm, or the Milky Way, as it should be should be put. Okay, so here it is. Let's just go and show Peter. Lovely tree, Dagwin. Did uh, Grumpet speak to you? Not really, he just asked me if I like trees. Ah, I see. And and do you? What, like trees? Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> I like trees. They are good. Great to hear. Anyway, I'll go and get the Christmas lights and we can get the tree up. Let's get these straps off. And I think uh, we'll, we'll just put it over here for now before he gets the stand and also the lights. So yeah, I don't think I'll uh, actually film putting this up. I would just show you what it looks like in a minute. We are going to have to trim these branches though because they are just huge and they're going to take up a massive amount of space here. And he has to be able to get things in and out, such as the livestock trailer. So yeah, in probably an hour's time, I think it'll be, I will show you what it looks like. Hopefully I can show you what it looks like before it goes dark too. It's up. And it didn't take too long. You ready? There it is. I think actually it looks just right. It is just the right size and it's got a little light on top to act as the star. Obviously it'll look much better in the dark. So we'll come back later. But what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go and put this away. Then I'm going to grab that tractor, put the plow on. I'll clear this yard, clear the other yard. And I also have something else to show you. So if you stick with me, uh, you can see something... Uh, very soon. It is something which I'm looking to buy. It's on an auction site, so I'm hoping to bid on it tomorrow. It comes off tomorrow, so um, yeah, it's local as well, which is good, but I'll show you that in a minute or two. First, let's just get these yards cleared. It is the priority. <laughs>
Right, well here we are back over the farm and because of the rush which we had before the sprayer is just there so that's going to have to be put away and needs to be kept under cover. Now I'm not really too worried about making this yard really tidy, it just has to be better than it is now. Uh, and yeah, I don't think there's anything else to do here. So when this is done I will just show you uh, what I'm looking to buy. I'm sure many people will be interested but it's all to do with expanding the piece of land or the farm which I am trying to uh, grow but it's not easy when you only have one piece of land so yeah I don't know what the future is for it I don't know if I'm gonna replace it with something else if I sell that maybe and buy a more established farm we'll just have to see but I do have plenty of things to do over there and I also need to repay quite a bit of the uh, loan anyway yes let's just uh, push the worst of it into the hedge that's what I've been doing problem is you see when you pile it right up it takes forever to melt so I don't really like doing this it will clear much faster if I don't do this but if I ever have a delivery or anything uh, then it can be a bit too slippery for vehicles on road tyres also if you're walking around it's quite dangerous so uh, yep yeah, I'm just going to continue here scraping the surface roughly doesn't need to be perfect it's still very deep though, but luckily the forecast, as far as I'm aware, is now for much better weather, so it should start to improve. Although before I do say that properly, I should go and take a look. In fact, I can check my phone. When I show you the uh, the item that I'm looking to buy, I'll also look at the forecast. Right, I think that'll do, pretty much. Much better than it was before. Just one more scrape there, maybe. And I can block the drilling because I definitely don't need the drill before the snow melts. We also have the scrap here as well, which really should be sold. But again, it's, it's finding the time and I need to know exactly where the scrap yard is. Uh, I think Peter knows. I'm fairly sure that Peter does know. Right, okay, so uh, yeah, just, just a very quick clearing like I said. Let's get the phone out. First of all, I think I'll show you what I'm looking to buy. So this is it. It is an old, I think it's pronounced Sipma, Sipma Baylor. It's a round baler anyway, quite old. And well, the current price is 1500 so I'm looking to get that at a fairly good price. Obviously, I don't have money coming out of my ears. I wish I did. Um, the £202,000 that we currently have belongs to the bank, so that's not even mine. So yes, I, I literally have nothing of my own, which is a shame. But I, I would still like to get that. I think maybe three to £4,000 would be my limit. But let me know. This vlog will be going out before that item ends, so you can give me some advice. What should I pay for it? And I've also checked the forecast, and luckily, the worst of it has now uh, been. It's been and gone. So, uh, that is good. I should probably use my Ford more often. It is actually going to be used very soon. I do need to use that very soon. In fact, I think I might... I might finish off by going over to my piece of land. I need to make sure the sheep are fine. They'll definitely have enough food because not only do they have the small amount of grass which they're on uh, but also I filled up their trough and I gave them an extra bale so yeah food won't be a problem. It's water. Just climb. Oh wow that is, <laughs> that is steeper than it looks. The poor little Ford couldn't make it over. But yes this baler which I'm looking to buy will be powered by the Ford. Oh no. I don't want to have to get my snow shovel out. There we go, we're free. Okay, so yes, just a very quick stop off over here just to make sure the chickens and the sheep are all good. I'm sure they will be. And the chickens can pretty much look after themselves anyway, but giving them the grain is still quite important. They tend to pull worms out of the soil. And the last place we go to today will be Peter's yard so that we can see the tree in the dark. Which I'm actually really looking forward to. Here we are. Oh yes, of course, this won't have been... Yeah, still very snowy. This has not been ploughed. It doesn't need to be though. Now these trees, they should really start to grow in the next growing season. Um, they should hopefully be maybe three feet taller by the end of the next growing season. That is the plan. And like I say, as soon as these ones have got a bit of growth on them, I'll cut them down for a bit of firewood. The two which are blocking the entrance. Okay, so first things first. Whoa, what a skid. 
Um, yes, the hens. Are you doing okay? They do seem to be. Everything seems to be good here. They've packed up their eggs. That's perfect. And also the, uh, the sheep. Oh, they, they haven't even started munching at the bale. No problems here. Frozen water. Doesn't look too bad. Nope, everything is just right. So um, yeah, I'm 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 going to hopefully get some more sheep as well at some point. Obviously, just two. It's not much, um, but I'm looking to expand it as soon as I can do. Now for the final stop, Peter's farm to see the Christmas tree. So yeah, my piece of land just here, which has been ploughed. The original plan was for Peter to actually farm it, and then I just get paid a little bit in return. But I've decided to scrap that idea. I'm actually going to farm it myself. I think it'd be much better. So I will be putting a crop in there. Using Peter's equipment, but he's fine with that anyway. So yeah, that's all good. Anyway, it is 10 to 5. Should be dark within 20 minutes. In the winter time, it's, it doesn't stay light for long at all. You get these nice shadows being cast onto the road, though, from the trees. Like that. That's nice. There it is, you can see it lit up. The wing mirror is just blocking it. Well, it does look very Christmassy over there. <laughs> ah, yes. You've got to have a Christmas tree. Oh, oh. Yeah, Peter's having an outside Christmas tree this year. Well, you got to admit, it looks pretty nice. Turn the lights off. There we go. Wow. Yeah, just gotta wait for that sun to go down. Oh yes, I'm back in the night time. Look at that. Now I feel like I need something over at my farm, but there we go. I think the positioning is just right. Looks looks great. Looks very Christmassy. Thank you for watching everybody. And until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.